How's it going, everybody? It's your guy, it's your boy, it's Dean, you know me. Today, we're going to talk about tips for modeling on Instagram, and I brought my girlfriend here to help me out because she is, in fact, an Instagram model, and she's so cute. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> We just wanted to create this video to help people out there who are trying to build an audience, get more followers, and just look better in pictures <laughs> in general. I mean, it's, yep. Yep, it's, it's, it's helpful for pretty much anybody. So I think that like the first most important thing to understand is that when you're working with a model, it's um, more of a conversation rather than a photo shoot. Uh, you're kind of talking to each other through it. You're communicating what looks good. You're trying to get angles that they're comfortable with. Absolutely, yeah. So what do you think is like the most important thing? Yeah, so I'd say probably confidence and authenticity are definitely the two most important things. So like when you're taking photos, making sure you're comfortable in your own skin and in your own body, and also like being true to yourself because people don't want to follow some fake figurehead, you know? They want to follow someone who they trust, who they feel can give them advice and inspire them. And so being your most authentic self is really important. Be yourself. Get out of there, girl. Do you. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> you. Girl, you're killing it. You're killing it already. <laughs> so being authentic and being confident kind of go hand in hand, really, because like you can be fake confident and that's still going to come across fake yeah, online. Yeah, absolutely. Be authentic, be yourself, be happy. Just do it for fun. Don't get discouraged at first that you're not getting like a ton of followers. I think that's a big thing too, is like people are looking at numbers rather than their self growth. One of the biggest two things that people look at is your eyes and your mouth. And so for eyes, I typically will just kind of have relaxed eyes that are still a little bit doe-eyed and wide. And then for my lips, I purse my lips a little bit and I leave a gap in between my lips. So my lips don't look like I'm um, too stern or anything. They don't look like I'm too serious, but I'm more relaxed and chill and hanging out and beautiful, you know? <laughs> yeah, dad, beautiful in there, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> when it comes to like posing your body, um, there's a couple go-tos that I, I go to. <laughs> <laughs> you go to your go-tos? <laughs> <laughs> I go to my go-to's too. When it comes to posing your body, there's a couple like tricks that I tend to go to right away. Um, the first one is you, when you're standing, you kind of want to put one of your legs out in front of the other um, and have one leg hang back. And then you want to put your hand on that outside leg a little bit, just like slightly in front of you and put the other hand slightly behind you. Posing like this really helps like you come across as natural and easy, but it also is more um, flattering to the camera than just standing like straight and facing the camera without any depth in your body. Mm -hmm. And so it really, really helps to just add a little bit of depth and a little bit of sass and it really gets it going. Yeah, you gotta add sass. <laughs> sass is important. <laughs> sass is important. Oh yeah. Am I wrong? <laughs> my second go-to trick is to kind of turn my body away from the camera and have my shoulder facing it, but not too far. So you want to kind of cheat your body so you can still see like the front of you, but you can also see the side of you and then um, look over my shoulder into the camera. And I find that like keeping my head down a little bit um, and putting my hair over my shoulder and really just looking into the camera from over my shoulder. Doing like this kind of cold shoulder pose creates a more dramatic feeling and a more like intense feeling to the photograph and really just helps all of the attention draw to like you rather than your surroundings. Posing your body is definitely super important and that's a great foundation, but your style is also super important. I tend to wear a lot of browns and whites and tans and, and browns and, and browns. Lots of brown. And different you, shades of brown. Look at my closet, it's all brown. It's um, brown rainbow, it's <laughs> rainbow brown. But I think it's it's really important to kind of find your style and know how to express that through the camera and also know what looks good on camera. So for me, the way that I edit my photos is a lot of neutral tones and earth tones. And so my closet complements that. And I also want to make sure that my surroundings complement that. It definitely goes along with your style too, because you can wear bold colors and still have a neutral palette in the background and use that as a pop of color to, mm -hmm. to bring yourself forward. It all really depends on your personal style. The location really matters. It really matters where you're shooting. 
um, and the time of day also matters. You're gonna wanna shoot in golden hour, which is the hour before the sun sets and the hour after the sun rises. And that's because the sun is not gonna be directly overhead casting weird shadows that aren't gonna be complementary to your model's face. And it's also gonna create a softer light on them, giving them softer features. And if you can't shoot during that time, a uh, cloudy day also will, will, will fill in that gap for you where you're not getting weird shadows everywhere and you're not getting bright, unflattering light on your model. Do you have any more tips? That... No, I'm good. Okay, cool. Um... All right, guys, that's it for us. See you later. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Peace out. <laughs> I do the outros. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Keep killing it. I'll see Woo! you guys in the next one. See you later. <laughs>